Hello and welcome. The following walkthrough will take you through a step-by-step -step process of how to upload a video directly to YouTube. Now this is the internet and things change and this is current as of January 16th, 2014. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and navigate over to youtube.com and go ahead and log in with your account. Once you're logged in with your Google account, it should kind of show you kind of your basic channel page. This, however, is not where you want to be. If you look up here at the top, you see there's a little button that's called Upload. Go ahead and click this button. When you get here, this is a screen that you normally go to when you want to go ahead and upload files. So if you had files that came directly off a of camera, this is the place to put those. But in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to use webcam capture. So the set steps that you should have already accomplished at this point is plug Plugging your webcam into the computer, either your laptop or one of the machines in the classroom, and you're going to go ahead and uh, click record. That'll take you to this screen, and here it's going to pop up with this little Adobe Flash set player settings. And what you want to do is give the uh, computer and YouTube permission to access your webcam. So go ahead and click the little radio button next to the green check mark that says allow, and voila, you have access to your webcam and you can see what's going on. Now if you look down here below uh, below me you're gonna see a button that says start recording. Go ahead and click that start recording button. At this point YouTube is collecting the camera that is coming in through your webcam. So this is really ideal if you want to go ahead and stream directly to YouTube from class so that you can go ahead and upload that. When you're finished with the presentation or you're finished recording your message, go ahead and click stop recording. At this point, you can either start over if you have a reason to, or you can go ahead and upload. Let's assume that this was a video that we liked, and let's go ahead and click upload. So it'll take a couple of minutes depending on your bandwidth speed and how busy things are, but for the most part it's pretty fast. As you can see just on my home internet, it's already ready to go. At this point, go ahead and give your video a fancy title and some sort of description. making spelling errors, always good, and at that point you're ready to go. Um, there's a couple things over here that I'll just briefly touch upon. I have my YouTube settings set up so that any video that I put up automatically is registered under the privacy setting as unlisted, meaning it's not going to show up on my YouTube channel and it's not going to be searchable. This is the ideal setting if you want to keep videos private but still easily accessible to your students and colleagues and so forth. You'll see in here that there's a couple different options, public and private. If you put it on public, it's going to show up on your channel and it's going to be searchable on YouTube. If you want that, great. If not, unlisted is better. The problem with setting it to private is then only people that have access to, uh, to it are going to be able to get it. And while it seems like that might be great, in my experience, it's more trouble than it's worth. And having a unique YouTube URL has really never caused any problems to me. But ultimately, that's something that I will leave up to you. Uh, below here, you can set your category. I tend to like to leave mine at education. And then we're good. At this point, go ahead and click Save Changes and the video is updated. So if you go ahead and go to your video manager, you will now see that the video that we just recorded is already up and ready to go, and we can, if we wanted to, pop in here and see it. Look at that handsome guy. And that's basically all there is to it. Thanks.